Hello, my dear student. Welcome to another edition of your mathematics lesson. Today, we are going to take another fresh and interesting new topic. That is bearing and distance in mathematics. We'll begin with the very first aspect of it, that is learning how to take a bearing of one point from another. So let's begin. After completing the very lesson today, my dear student, we'll be able to list the two major types of bearing. And number two, we'll be able to take the three-digit bearing of one point from another. These are the things I hope, for my dear student, you'll be able to do after completing the very lesson today. So as usual, in your favorite segment of the lesson that is Mars is fun today, I'll give you another interesting number. This number is 153. 153 is so special, so amazing, so interested. I'll tell you what is interested about this very number after completing my lesson today, so stay with me. To begin the lesson, my dear student, let me just use this very short video. This video will be very, very useful to explain the concept of bearing and its application in the real world. So you can see this is a plane in the airport, and that airport is Madeira Airport. Madeira is in Portugal. And uh, let me just play the video. Look at the plane. It's bordered with passengers. The passengers are heading to Lagos Airport, that is Lagos in Nigeria. Look at the plane. He's trying to take off, trying to take it as a proper runway. Look at the plane. Like I've said, this very plane is leaving Madeira. Madeira is in Portugal, the hometown of uh, this famous footballer Cristiano Ronaldo. So he's to take off and head to Lagos Airport directly. Look at it. He's trying to take off now. Running very fast. Look at it. Look at it. It's now in the air. And when it is in the air, the pilot will now direct this very flight uh, directly to the Lagos airport. So, which means before this pilot will be able to direct the flight directly to the Lagos airport, he must know the direction of Lagos from this Madeira. And this is the concept of bear. Bearing is all about knowing direction of one point from another or taking a direction of one point from another point. This is all about this topic of bearing, which is very, very useful to the pilots. So let me just dive into my lesson proper. So next to you, Larry, is the types of bearing. There are two major types of bearing. One of them is called the three-digit bearing, and the second type of bearing is called the compress bearing. For the sake of this very lesson, we now take the very first type, which is the three-digit bearing. So let me just move straight to this three-digit bearing. So the three-digit bearing, it says this uses an angle, and that angle is now measured from the line pointing north direction, that is from the line due north, and that angle is now measured in clockwise direction. As the name of this Type of bearing is implies that is the three digit bearing. The angle measured is always expressed using three digit. That is the name three digit. So you always write uh, three digit to represent the value of the angle or to represent the bearing. So in a situation whereby the angle measured is just having one or two digits, so what you now do, you now precede that very angle by either a single zero or a double zeros. So we're going to learn how we can make use of this rule to take a bearer of one point from another. Let's just move and take examples. Example number one, it says the bearing of the airport A from the airport B is 170 degrees. The question asks this to illustrate the positions of the two airports A and B. So solution to this very problem, what we now do first, uh, we are to, to mark the direction of this very airport A, but from the airport B, which means somebody is now in the airport B, want to point out the direction of the airport A. So what we now do, it is the airport B that we mark first, and how we mark is just to draw the four major directions, that is the line pointing north, another one east, this one down is south, the other one left is west. This is the four major cardinal points, north, east, south, and west. And this is uh, the position of the airport to be, for example. 
So we now measure this very angle 170 at this very point. It says to take bearing using this very digit. We always started drawing or measuring the angle from the line due north. From the line due north end, you now turn in clockwise direction. So clockwise direction from here means this direction rightwards. So you now measure that angle. Take note, please. You don't have to use protractor to measure it. We are just estimating just to indicate the direction that is in drawing so what you now do this is an angle 170 you can see what 70 bigger than 90 but less than 180 so this is the angle 170 so next you now do from this middle point that is the position of this airport b you now draw a straight line look at the straight line look at it in blue so if we are to point the direction of the airport a from the airport b it is this line that gives you the direction so the pilot will now take this direction if leaving airport b and heading to airport a let's just move and take another example example number two it says the bearing of the city acts from the city y is 285 degrees the question asked is to illustrate the positions of the two cities x and y so solution to this very problem is what we now do we now write y first because we want to indicate we want to find the position of the city x from y so it is y that you mark first this is my city y and these are the four major cardinal directions this is north east south and west so what i will now do i will now take this angle 25 25 degrees you can see is here 90 or 80 to 70 slightly bigger than 270 so i will now measure from this north line in clockwise direction after this very quadrant let's see the angle look at the angle 25 25 will now be in this quadrant so the position of the city axis will now be along this side so what i will do from this middle point i will now draw a straight line to touch this end of this arrow that is my angle look at the line in blue so it is somewhere here along the this direction. Along the this direction, this blue line gives the direction of the city X from the city Y. If somebody is to point the direction from city Y of city X, this is the line that it now shows us the direction. So this is it. So let's just take one more example. Example number three says the bearing of the airport C from the airport R is 192 degrees. The question asked here, what direction must a plane takes from the airport to see if it is to return to the airport R? So solution to this very problem, this is a concrete question, really. So we have the BR, that is the direction of, uh, of, of, of the airport to see, but from the airport R. This is the direction 192 degrees. Now, if that very plane is to return back to back to back to, to airport R from the airport to C, what direction must it take? This is the question we are asked to find. So what I will now do first is to take this BR 192. That is the bearing of the airport to C from the airport R. So let me mark, uh, let me mark R. I have R now. Look at it. This is my position R the four major cardinal directions there. So I'll now take this very angle 192. Starting from the northern line in clockwise direction, this gives me the angle 192. You can see 192 is slightly, slightly bigger than 180. So it will not be in this quadrant. So what I will now do from this middle point, I will now draw a line to touch this end of this arrow. That is my angle. And that will now be the direction of the airport to see. So the plane, leaving airport R, heading to airport C, will now take this direction. So after the plane has reached this airport C, you want to take back, want to go back to, to airport R, what direction must it take? Of course, this is the direction, but we would like to find the angle. So what we will now do to answer that very question, at the airport C, we will now draw this four major cardinal points. Let me just do that. So these are the four major cardinal points. The, the angle is always measured from the north line and to the line points in that direction. So it will now be this angle. Look at this angle. Whatever this angle is, it now gives me the bearing that the plane will now take in order to return back to the airport R. 
So what I will now do, I'll go back to this. I have to extract some other angles. But obviously, if you remember your line geometry, you can see this line pointing north at the point C. And the line pointing north at the point R, those two lines are parallel. And this blue line is just serving as a transversal cutting the two parallel lines. If that is the case, uh, these angles, look at it. Look at these two angles in green. Look at this angle in green. And this very angle also, there will be alternate angles. And remember, alternate angles are equal. So what I will now have, uh, if I can find this very angle here, which will now be the center at this very angle. And this angle will now give me the bearing. So the bearing of R from C is now nothing but this very angle, if I can find it. So going back to this position of R, if this angle is 192, from here to here is 180, angle on a straight line. So which means if I subtract 180 from 192, it will leave me with this small angle. And this small angle, like I've said, is equals to this alternate angle. Let me just find this very angle. Look at it. This angle will now be 192 minus 180. And subtract 180 from 192 gives the result 12 degrees. So this angle will now be 12 degrees. And as these two angles, look at them. I colored them green. They are alternate angles. So this angle 2 is now going to be 12 degrees. And this gives me the bearing that the plane will now take in order to return back to the airport R from the airport to C. So the bearing will now be of R from C is now nothing but 0, 1, 2 degrees. You can see I preceded this two digit by single zero to make it a three digit. This is how we now take bearing using three digit bearing. So in our next lesson, we will learn how to take the other second type of bearing, which is called the compress bearing. With this, I have come to the end of this very lesson, my dear student. Let me just move to the last segment, Mercy is fun, and give you what is interesting about the number 153. 153 is, can be expressed as some of the cubes of it is a digit. That is the digits in 153, that is 1, 5, and 3. If you are to cube each of those digits and add the three results, what you are getting back is the number 153. Let me just do that and see. So 153 is now equals to 1 raised to 3, plus 5 raised to 3, plus 3 raised to 3. Let me find what are those cubes of those numbers. So 1 raised to 3 gives you 1, 5 raised to 3 gives you 125, and 3 raised to 3 gives you 27. If you add these numbers, I tell you what you are getting is the number 153. So 153 is another interesting number. We see more of these interesting numbers in our subsequent lessons.